Welcome back, everybody. The History Guy here. Uh, thank you for your patience, as I have uh, been pretty light on the videos this week. I was in Colorado with my fellow um, speakers and uh, other workers for Rachel's Challenge getting together for the first time in about a year and a half. So it was a great to get away and be with uh, my other fellow speakers. But uh, it's great to be back with you as well. Uh, I'll be doing a couple quick videos this weekend before uh, my wife and I head off to New York City for a couple of nights, taking my daughter to see the sights and see a Broadway play. She's really into acting, so we're going to check all that out. Uh, but for now, back to the Battle of Cold Harbor in the Confederate Campaign of Ultimate General Civil War. And uh, this is Brigadier General Difficulty. And uh, thank you to all of the amazing comments. I'm sorry I did not get a chance to reply or even hit like on a lot of those, but I was very busy with training for work the last couple of days and really just have not been online much at all. Uh, I did read most of those comments, though. So a lot of you, one of the things that you commented about about Cold Harbor was, hey, it's not really that long of a battle. You can win easily with the Confederates on the first day. I probably should have done that because there has been an update to the game. It's now... Uh, version 1.03, I believe, and I won't take time to go through all of the updates uh, to the game uh, with the 1.01 and 1.03 updates. Uh, I'll list those things down below in the in the description. However, a couple highlights. Number one, they have made a change to the Battle of Cold Harbor, so the Union gets their reinforcements earlier, and in the description it says, so it's harder for the Confederates to steal a victory on day one. So I'm probably not even going to attempt that Instead, I will stay back and do the Battle of Attrition and hopefully take out a lot of his men. So we'll see. Uh, some, a couple of other updates. They've added some new custom battles, including one at Devil's Den at Gettysburg, which I'll probably check out here sometime soon. And uh, some changes to the mechanics on retreating so that it should be less likely that you retreat into the enemy's lines. So we'll see how that affects gameplay. For now, Cold Harbor, 76,500 men, 275 guns for me. I'm sure by the time the Union gets his entire force up, I'm going to be uh, pretty heavily outnumbered. But this first part of the battle, of course, is the part where you can kind of jump in and try to take one of the objectives right away. Uh, however, I do not expect that that's worth it because I think he's going to get those reinforcements quickly and overwhelm me. So I'm going to hang back and hold the objective here. And uh, I'm actually just going to kind of skip through that part. If anything happens, I'll come back. But I imagine there will be no contact with the enemy whatsoever in this first phase of the battle. So uh, if that turns out not to be the case, I will come back in. Otherwise, I'll see you in part two. All right, so with, f so with four minutes left in the mission... Uh, this particular part of the mission, you see he finally launches an assault on me. It's not going to amount to much. Uh, one of the other things that they updated in the game is uh, the graphics. They made like more detail in the trees and things like that. And I've noticed that the game's running a lot less smoothly. <laughs> um, it's really choppy. And I don't know um, if I'm just going to have to make some adjustments to my graphics or what. But I... I'm running a pretty decent system with a pretty good graphics card. I, sh I ought to be able to run this game with no problem. Uh, in the past, I've only noticed there being choppiness on the really, really big battles where there was a lot going on. But uh, So I don't know if there'll be a further patch to kind of correct that or not because there's not a lot of changes you can make as far as the graphics settings on the game itself. So here we go. We're back at it. This is going to be part two, and this is where we have to get a little more aggressive because... Uh, you have to take these objectives or the battle is lost for the Confederates, which I'm not a r real big fan of that fact, but that's just the way it is. So um, what I'm going to do here is, because there's not going to be a lot much happening down here, I'm going to kind of drag some of these troops up this way, cross them up here, and hit this guy pretty hard right there. Okay, so we've only got an hour and a half to do this, and not only do you have to take these objectives, but uh, it can't even still be contested when the time runs out. So this has to happen pretty quickly, unfortunately. And he gets a ton of reinforcements right at the end, so we've got to be really cautious here, and I've got to kind of throw my, my whole force at him if I can. So I'm going to throw this guy right in here. I'm going to have McNair actually merge with him. And 
And then we'll get these three up here. Send my general up there too. Don't need the supplies. Alright, so there's going to be some artillery and several brigades of infantry up in here, including probably one three star unit. Alright, I'm going to hold these guys back just until I get everybody in position. got to watch that time because I've got to have both these objectives probably with about a half hour to go I have to be taking those objectives just so I don't have the contested timer run out on me plus he's going to be getting those reinforcements and it's just going to become that much harder and a lieutenant general wounded that's probably one of my division commanders most of my divisions at this point are led by lieutenant generals Bartlett's going to get into Orphan Brigade's flank here. I'm a little worried about that. I'm probably going to have to go ahead and move these guys up into position. going to get into their flank. Okay. So I definitely need to engage with these three brigades to prevent that. As much as I can. Alright, let's rush Meredith over here. Okay. The good news is, these guys, even though they're in fortifications in the woods, they're really spread out. That should make it a little easier to overrun them, especially with superior numbers. I'm going to take out this battery. Whoa, General, stay back. So what I need to do now is get some of these units right here on the edge of the woods because he's going to be getting reinforcements and I need to be ready for them. Need to overrun this objective and hold it. 
against his reinforcements that'll be coming there too. He's gonna get some here as well as the ones that come from down there. And here come the first ones. They just came into the field. I still got him about two to one though. For now. Now we're gonna hold the orphan brigade right here. Hold these guys too. Once I destroy this battery, anyway. Alright. Guess I need to spread out a little bit with it with these brigades. Yeah. There we go. Go ahead and bring Prescott up. Oh, well, maybe not. I think we have to hold this objective. Alright, that battery's destroyed. Now we're just going to kind of sit tight for 29 minutes and hold out against his reinforcements that are coming. He's going to try to come down in here and get into the flank of Brook, so i got to prevent that. I'm going to pull Brook back. Don't shift to the right, just shift back. All right. Close this line right here. Should be okay now. Yeah, here comes his reinforcements over here now. I'm not too worried about that with only 10 minutes left. Doesn't look like he's even going to try. Burnside Corps. I believe Burnside was in charge of the 9th Corps at this point in the in the war. Alright, we're back to the right flank now. Say hi, Jeff. Alright, so just looking at things, he's up to 30,000 men now. Of course, I've still got 75,000. But this battle is just going to keep on expanding until it gets bigger and bigger. Of course, Cold Harbor uh, was fought uh, on an old battlefield from 1862 from the Seven Days Campaign. No doubt a lot of these men remembered well that previous battle and had been at both. And this was when Grant's finally knocking on the door to the gates of Richmond. So we're going to keep keep our cavalry up here to cover this flank but I think we'll be okay up there for the most part kinda of thin on the left side but I think we'll be okay I'm gonna go ahead and, and shift Duchesne up that way a little bit just to kinda of make sure I cover that area got a lot of troops right here so I don't know how many of those I actually need I'm gonna pull this smaller brigade out in favor of a bigger one do the same here. Looks like I could probably merge these two. Throw Watson in right there. Same thing here. We can drop this 1100 man brigade out and put. 2500 man brigade in
and we'll just keep keep these guys right there three and a half hours for this part of the battle right now the numbers are basically even we're within about 300 men of each other though he's got more guns but I'm on the defensive here so just taking a look at things I hold all the objectives I need for victory the only thing not checked is the left flank and that's only because we haven't fought that part of the battle yet all right, let's get these guys into the defensive position. He's going to start launching an attack. I'm going to speed things up a little bit just till we get to that point. Yeah, you can see it. It's the game's running much more choppy than it used to before the update. So I'm not sure if that's something that'll get addressed or not. It's actually not even responding really well when I'm trying to zoom in and out. major assault coming right here yeah I can't zoom in or out oh, there it goes it's really slow in responding so that's only happened with this update I've never had that issue before I think we should be able to hold against this assault pretty well just kinda keep an eye on the numbers here. He's got about 300 more men than me right now, but I think that's going to change quickly. I should have plenty of supply to keep my artillery hot for quite a while. He's going to try to get around my flank over here. Let's go ahead and bring this brigade down here. Just to be safe. Of course, Grant, in his uh, memoirs and later in life, he expressed a lot of regret about the final assault that was made here at Cold Harbor. Uh, the one that most people associate with the Battle of Cold Harbor was a massive assault by Union forces uh, against a heavily fortified Confederate position early in the morning there in early June. I think it was June 3rd. I could be wrong about the date, but I know it wasn't this part right here. Thousands upon thousands of men fell in just like 20 minutes, and it was, uh, it gained nothing. And I think Grant recognized that. And for all of the bloodbaths that took place in that summer of 1864, that was the one that Grant repeatedly expressed regret at having made was that attack, that final attack at Cold Harbor. All right, so he seems pretty content just to kind of shoot it out with artillery right now. I just got to keep an eye out here a little bit because I got I to gotta just be at least a little bit concerned about supply. Enough that I think I'm probably going to go ahead and order my guns to hold fire until he actually launches an assault. So we'll let him use up his supplies. And if his infantry starts getting close like these guys right here. Alright, looks like he's coming in. We're going to go ahead and let the artillery open back up. Yeah, the frames per second right now is absolutely horrible on this game, and I've never had that issue, not to this degree, not over the course of an entire battle like this. So I'll be curious. I'll probably go in after I record this first video and look in the, uh, the message boards on Steam, see if anybody else is complaining about that issue. All right, so he had 300 more men than I do. Now, uh, he's got about 20 more men than I do, and I just passed him up, so, and as these other assaults get launched, that number's only going to drift more and more in my direction. All right, we'll shut down the artillery again. I'm going to speed things up just to kind of see, because there's not a lot happening right now. His men are just all kind of sitting there. 
We'll let him keep firing because he's really not taking out that many men with his artillery. Standard going to make another assault? Nah, maybe not. So it's really just sitting here <laughs> taking it from him with his artillery right now. I can't imagine for the next two hours that's all that's going to happen. Because he's really not affecting me all that much. Morale's good. Condition's good. None of my units seem to be suffering in terms of morale or condition from all the artillery. So all he's doing is using up supply unnecessarily. Only inflicting a few casualties. His advantage is back up to about 100 men because he, he is inflicting casualties, but not enough for me to justify firing back. I'll save those supplies. So I'll go ahead and drop out right here since nothing's happening. And once he actually launches an assault, I'll jump back in with the recording. All right, well, it only took about a minute or so before all of his men suddenly jumped off in an all-out assault. Right after I said I was going to come back, that's when it happened. So here it comes. Major assault by the Union. He had about 200 more men than me on the battlefield when that assault started. So I'll be curious to see where it's at when it's over. And there's not a chance that he's going to overrun my position. Alright, so that 200 man advantage he had is now a deficit of almost a thousand. The advantage of breastworks. Just got to keep an eye out and make sure that there aren't any units that are disproportionately suffering in this attack. So I'm going to merge McKean if I can into Watson. I'm not sure if that's possible or not. At the very least, I'm going to send him down there to help. Alright, now the numbers. About 2,000 man advantage for me, so obviously the numbers continue to move in that direction. Archer's getting low on ammo, so I'm going to have to come down and resupply. Both of these batteries. Now 3,000 man advantage. I think we can go ahead and speed things along here.
So Watson's doing well. He just going to be getting low on manpower here. Just the number of casualties I'm inflicting right now. I now have a 4,000 man advantage. I've lost, what about 2,500 men? He's lost at least 6,000. Check on the supply levels. They're doing okay at the moment. I'm going to go ahead and resupply the uh, the infantry, though. Just so they don't find themselves running low. Over a 5,000 man advantage now. I've lost 11 guns. Look at all those blue bodies laying out here. It must have been a sight in real life. I think of here, I think of Franklin for the Confederates, and of course um, Pickett's Charge and Fredericksburg. When you think about bloody assaults that were ill-advised and cost really high disproportionate casualties. And we'll wrap this first episode up with the end of this part because we've still got a long way to go in this battle. But I'm doing what I need to do, which is inflict a lot of casualties and weaken him to the point where he's not in a position to be able to make that final assault on the last day of the battle successfully. I might have to switch some folks around and strengthen this area right here in particular. But so far, so good. I've got about a 9,000 man advantage now in that part of the battle. So let's go ahead and take a look and see where things stand going into the next day. And then we'll wrap this part up. And as always, I welcome your input, your observations, your comments, your questions, your criticisms, any and all of those things. If you would hit that thumbs up, I'd greatly appreciate it. I do have a 10,000 man advantage, which I have no doubt I can hold. But we'll see how it goes. My main issue is going to be worrying about if he loads up on one spot where I may have plenty of manpower, but they're in the wrong location. So I may have to do some shifting just to make sure I cover my bases. But as long as I've got more men than he does on the field, I'm not too worried at all. So I'm going to go back to the camp and see if there's anything I can do as far as uh, I might have to, you know, just to replace some of my division commanders and things like that that have been lost. That's about the only thing you can really do since I have no manpower. Um, I can at least get commanders back in charge of those units. So, thanks for watching. If you hit that thumbs up, I'd appreciate it. I put the update uh, information below on the latest patches, and we'll see you back here in just a little while with the second half of the Battle of Cold Harbor.